Good morning, today is January 14th and I'm coming at you from Atlanta, Georgia, but not just Atlanta, Georgia. This is Atlanta, Georgia in 1929. I traveled back in time. I'll tell you why in a minute, but for right now, stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am a smart, special, valuable person. I respect myself and my school. I challenge myself in all I do. I am proud to be a dolphin and proud to be me. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. All right, so why was I in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929? I'm gonna get into that in a second. But before I do that, let's look at the weather. It is gonna be 49 degrees today. It is a Thursday. I said yesterday it was gonna get cold. I was wrong. It looks like it's gonna be pretty warm through this weekend. Maybe a little bit of rain uh, later on. Looks like that's Sunday. All right, so why was I in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929? Well, Martin Luther King was born on January 15th, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. Every third Monday of January, we celebrate his birth, his life, his dreams. And uh, as a national day of service to encourage you to volunteer and improve your community. So what could you do in your house or your neighborhood? Could you make a meal? Could you clean up your yard or your space around your yard? What could you do today? I know it's harder to serve people during COVID, but I bet you you could think of something to do on Monday in the day of service. All right, this is one of my favorite Martin Luther King quotes. Life's most persistent, life's most persistent and urgent questions is, what are you doing for others? And I have one more quote for him before we let it go for today. But before I do that, some of our other things that we need to make sure that we pay attention to is getting our work done, getting all our assessments in. Schoology and seesaw work is super, super important. Your attendance every day with your cameras on is really, really important as well. I have a few thank yous for staff, and then I think starting next week, we should start thanking some students. So I think I have an idea of how we're going to go about doing that. All right, so first of all, from Colton's, I want to thank Mrs. Bennett for being a, a patient and kind to, to him all the time. She makes class fun for everybody. To Ms. Holt and Ms. Murphy from Kayla, they really help all the students and they are so kind. To Ms. Zeger from Kayla, and I love this teacher because we do lots of fun stuff together. To Mrs. Michaelwitz from London, I am thanking this staff member for teaching me what I need to learn and also thankful for her for helping me with everything that she needs help with. To uh, Mrs. Holt from an anonymous. She is nice and we do fun activities and she helps when we need it. To me, Mr. Tim from Melanie. He is kind and he is always trying to help people in any way he can. All right, those are our thank yous for today. Um, I want to just leave you with a quote. No joke today, but I do have a quote. And this also is from Dr. Martin Luther King. It is not possible to be in favor of justice for some people and not be in favor of justice for all people. And then he went on later to say, an injustice to anyone is an injustice to us all. All right, make it a great long weekend. Remember, tomorrow there's no Zoom classes. There is just work in the different folders in Schoology and Seesaw. And you can also always do Imagine Learning and Dreambox. On Monday, there's no school at all. It's our day of service. There they go, turn the lights off on me again. All right, so find what you can do to kind of help your community in any way possible. And that could be your immediate community within your family. All right, and then we will see you back here on Tuesday. Have a great four, somewhat four days off.